Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. And today I, I want to begin with a, a story that if you've followed my work for any length of time, you've probably heard, and I wrote about it in the Inside Out Revolution, and it, it was a, a student on one of our Super Coach Academy trainings, and he was in the military, and he was in a, a pilot, and he was, I don't want to call him an overachiever, because he achieved a lot, but he, he couldn't get his head around the idea that, that no matter how much hard work he put in, there were certain things that were just beyond his control. And I was trying to find a way to communicate with, with him, you know, to, to make that point. And, and the, the phrase that I finally shared was, you're not the pilot, you're the plane. And it was one of those beautiful moments where I think all of us heard something in that, including me, that we're so used to thinking of ourselves as being the predominant creative force in the universe, when in fact the universe itself, the creative genius of life, is the predominant creative force in the universe. And we get to be along for the ride. Now. I don't know how that lands with you in this moment. You might be arguing it, you might be agreeing with it, but it not getting what the big deal is. So I'm just gonna ask you to entertain it for the rest of this podcast. What if we're not the pilot, we're the plane? What if we're not the driver, we are that which is driven? One of my all time favorite quotes, comes from George Bernard Shaw, and he said, this is the true joy in life, the being used for a purpose recognized by yourself as a mighty one. To me, that is talking about that feeling of being used by life, of being used by the creative genius of life to create, to be a part of the creation of the universe, to take your role, to use your voice in the daily creation of life itself. If that were true, what would our job be? And what would the universe's job be? What would the creative genius's job be? What would the infinite intelligence's job be? Well, the universe, creative genius, infinite intelligence, its job would be to fly the plane, to drive the car, to guide. Our job would be to open the door and let it in, and then sit back and enjoy the ride. Now, how do you open the door to creative genius? Well, it's like so many things. When you, when you take a closer look at them, when you see the difference between that which is natural, that which is as designed, and that which is normal but unnatural, how we've learned to do things, you see, it isn't something that you need to do. It's just something you need to stop doing. If you want to invite life in, if you want to invite creative genius in, if you want to invite the universe in, you can actively invite it. But first, you got to unlock the door. And the equivalent of unlocking the door is letting go of all your figuring out and trying to make happen and trying to work out and trying to predict the future. If you allow the space in your mind to not be filled, if you allow your bandwidth to not be taken up with all your worries and concerns and imaginings and visualizations and hopes and dreams and wants, even for a moment, creative genius comes in. The universe comes in. 
It's like being in a house where, where the windows are, 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 are sealed and, and the heating is on and it's lovely and toasty and warm. And then if the window is open, even a little crack, the cool air comes in. Well, if there's even a little space between thoughts, if you're willing to leave even a little bit of space in your mind, creative genius comes in. I remember watching a documentary with Quincy Jones, and he, he was talking about that when you're in studio, when you're creating music, you've got to leave some space for God to come in. Well, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that any of us want to do, if we don't crack the window a bit, if we don't leave at least a little bit of space for the universe to come in, if we don't leave some blanks on the page for the creative genius of life to fill in, then all you'll get is all you've already got. It won't have that newness. It won't have that freshness. It won't have that taste of the divine, that taste of genius, that spark of something special, the X factor. But all you got to do is invite it in. You don't even have to open the doors, though you can do that. You just have to unlock them. And the doors unlock and the windows roll down. The second you make space in your mind, you put down all your grand plans and great ideas and let life in. Have fun, learn heaps, and I'll talk with you soon. <laughs>